Researchers here in the Bay Area are turning to some small local creatures to help balance the effects of climate change and improve the local ecosystem. ABC 7 News weather anchor Spencer Christian found that even though the individual species are different, they have something in common, their shells. At San Francisco's Presidio, wildlife ecologists are using nesting pods made with ground-up oyster shells designed to attract and nurture tiny growing oysters. It's a shoreline project that may eventually help the broader ecosystem. We anticipate more oysters coming in, and not just more coming in and settling, but those that settle survive and grow and hopefully can reproduce on their own, seeding more of the bay with their planktonic larvae. Meanwhile, a short drive north along the Sonoma County coast, researchers from UC Davis are also using ground-up shells, this time from clams. Their goal is to help combat a threat from global warming, a threat caused by pollution from fossil fuels that are making seawater more acidic. The idea that I um, am working on is that that purposeful addition of shell material into sediments can interact with that acidic seawater and actually buffer against the changes that we're seeing due to the climate change. Hannah Hensel began collecting the shells near the UC Davis Marine Laboratory at Bodega Bay. Hensel wanted to learn if an acid buffering calcium component in the shells could help keep the tidal habitat less acidic, first testing her theory in lab experiments. So we did see an, a buffering effect. And in addition to the chemistry changing and data suggesting that that was the case, we also saw with the clam growth that the clams grown with shell hash grew more shell than those without it. Hensel is hoping that mixing shells into the squishy breeding ground can help young clams survive and develop in a more balanced shoreline environment, even if surrounding oceans become more acidic. Meanwhile, back at the Presidio, wildlife ecologist Jonathan Young says the shell-laced oyster pods are also having success, drawing in residents who are attracted to the chemistry of their new homes, which they may associate with an optimal breeding environment. There's been a lot of recruitment, which means their planktonic larvae floating around the bay have found these structures, have landed on these structures, and have been growing on these structures. Ultimately, they are two research projects, both reimagining nature-based techniques to create a healthier ecosystem for California. Spencer Christian, ABC 7 News. And now there's some background to the science as well. Yeah, researchers say native populations in the Bay Area and along the Pacific Coast used shells in various ways to bolster their local ecosystems. Mm.